on October 23, 1923, on South 2nd Street in Clarksville, Tennessee, Frank Spencer Sutton was born. He was basically the typical boy who enjoyed playing outside and coming home dirty. But one particular instance kind of stands out in his childhood. His parents had given him some grease paint, which he used to paint his face. And then he put on a theatrical performance for the whole family. He immediately told them he was going to be an actor. But it wasn't until later that the family really sensed that he meant what he was talking about. Frank's father, also known as Frank, took different positions in his line of work in the Tennessee general area. They moved from Elton, Kentucky to Nashville within the same year. In 1931, Frank actually attended Howell Grammar School. That was the same one that his mother attended as a child. He was a very intellectual child, and he enjoyed visiting the public library. Later, as an adult, his home in Beverly Hills would include a library that had nearly 3,000 titles, all of them that he had read himself. In 1938, when he was a teenager, his father dies suddenly. Frank went on to complete his high school education in Nashville. He graduated from East High School in 1941. He went on to play a significant role in in the theatrics department at the high school, as he performed in several different school productions and in the local community theater. He stated that the first time he walked out on the stage in high school, he had a warm feeling. He knew he wanted to be an actor from that day forward. Frank moved back to Clarksville from Nashville after he graduated from high school, and he began working in 1942 as a radio announcer for a local radio station. Now, here's one of the funny parts of this whole story, is that Frank attempted to enlist in the United States Marines, but he was rejected because he was colorblind. Can you believe that? The guy that used to yell and scream at Gomer Pyle couldn't actually get into the Marines. He was accepted into the Army, and he served during World War II. After the war was over, he went to college at Columbia University in New York, where he studied drama and French. He developed his acting career while he was still enrolled at Columbia University. He got a job in daytime television, so he had to end up taking night classes at the university. He finally found a balance between his career and his studies, and he graduated in 1952. Now, the university is where Frank met his wife, Toby Engler. They had two children from their marriage, and by all accounts, it's said that he was a loving and doting father. His acting career took off while he was still in college at Columbia University when he was featured in Captain Video and his Video Rangers. But his big break occurred in 1955 when he was offered a role in the movie Marty. The film won an Academy Award as well as four Oscars. This kind of opened the door for him to be featured in more films. He was included in Four Boys and a Gun in 1957 and Town Without Pity in 1961. He also starred in a real memorable episode of The Twilight Zone in 1962, that was entitled The Dummy. It was in 1964 when he was offered the role in the spinoff of The Andy Griffith Show, which was entitled Gomer Pyle USMC. He starred alongside Jim Neighbors, who played Gomer Pyle, and Frank played his sergeant, Vince Carter, in the series. It was this show that catapulted him into stardom. Sergeant Vince Carter is one of the most recognizable characters there is. The show was televised from 1964 until nearly the end of the decade. It was around 1969 when Jim Neighbors and Frank Sutton decided to end the series before it had a chance to decline in popularity. After the cancellation of the show, Frank was regularly seen on the Jim Neighbors Hour, which was the Jim Neighbors variety show that he had. Now, Frank Sutton was an unbelievably, genuinely kind man. He paid out of pocket to visit the Marines that were stationed in Vietnam in 1966. 
He performed a one-man show for the troops for entertainment, and he performed those 56 shows in just eight days. He truly had a kind heart. Now, let's not forget all the other shows that Frank Sutton was in, in little bit parts here and there, and in major roles of shows like Route 66, Naked City, The Greatest Show on Earth, he was in The Fugitive, he was in Gunsmoke, he was in four different episodes of The Untouchables. The show Love American Style had his presence five times. He had a real passion for the dinner theater circuit. And that's where he passed away. He was 50 years old and passed away from a heart attack June 28, 1974 in Shreveport, Louisiana. While he was backstage actually preparing for a performance at the Beverly Barn Dinner Theater. Frank wished to have his body returned to his hometown of Clarksville where he is buried in Greenwood Cemetery with his mother and his father. Frank Sutton, you're a truly amazing actor, and we enjoyed your roles that you played. Rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll continue to chase the classics.